this weekend on an all-new Hot 20 Countdown. Hey, seventh year, crash my playa, and we're making it happen, baby. Luke Bryan brings some major players to playa. That was literally Jason Aldean driving by. Dustin Lynch expects the unexpected. You never know what's going to run out on stage down at Crash My Playa. Jordan Davis has a swing in time. Hey, man, let's, like, try to basically remake Caddyshack. Riley Green's got style. Tuck your shirt in and look like somebody. Whitney Duncan's got skills. If somebody gives me a sh machete, I know how to use it. Caitlin Smith is calm and composed. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Plus a brand new countdown, and it all starts now. Hey there, welcome to CMT's Hot 20 Countdown, your VIP pass to country music. I'm Cody Allen. This weekend, we are escaping the winter blahs and inviting you to join us in sunny, beautiful Mexico. Oh, okay. Well, we're not in Mexico, actually, this weekend. COVID restrictions have kept us home in Nashville, where it's definitely still winter here. Brr. But Luke Bryan and his pals will join us from the always epic Crash My Playa Fest. Let's get things started on the countdown now. Here's a look at your Heat Seeker video options this week. And we're back this weekend on Hot 20 Countdown with Riley Green. Yes, Riley Duckman is joining us from Crash My Ply. It's CMT in the CMP Crash My Ply. So how's it going down there, man? It looks like you already got a tan. Yeah, this is, this is the worst place you could be, man. It's a little <laughs> warmer down here than it was in Alabama when I left. When you're not playing in Mexico, you've been doing your headlining tour, I guess the second leg of your, and I love the name of this, We Out Here Tour. Right. It's nice to be back back anywhere. It's been great, man. Obviously, you know, we we had a lot of hurdles with with things kind of opening back up, but fans are just so happy to be back out. The the crowds have been great, and it's been really good to get back out on the road and see some kind of normal again. Yeah, the crowds love you. It's obvious from all the footage that comes back and all your socials. Like people just love seeing you in concert, including Atlanta Braves great Chipper Jones who recently surprised you on stage. Uh, what was that moment like? Man, that's, I mean, childhood hero, you know? It's uh, it's crazy. Uh, you know, the last few years, especially since signing a record deal and being in Nashville, I've met so many of these people that I'm such a big fan of. So something like that to have in Chipper come out was a really cool thing. Gave me a jersey in Atlanta, sold out show. That made uh, made the weekend for sure. Yeah, who would you like to step out on stage? Maybe some legend you haven't met yet. It could be sports. It could be music, movies, TV. Who would... Who would you like to meet you haven't met in the business yet? Uh, you know, I, I'm a big Kevin Costner guy. He, pre pre Yellowstone, even. You know, I was a big Tin Cup, Bull Durham, like back in the early days. And I saw he played at the Opry pretty recently, so I kept trying to sneak in there and see if I ever routed where he was going to be at. But yeah, that'd be a pretty cool one. I saw him actually that night at the Opry. I, I don't get real nervous around a lot of people I interview, but man, he made me so nervous dude yeah i was like that i met sam elliott at the first acm awards i went to and he's got that mustache man he just yeah he's intimidating <laughs> all right more with riley coming up we'll talk about uh your your bromance uh thomas retz i'll explain straight ahead now back to the countdown <laughs> And we're back this weekend. Riley Green is with us uh, from Crash My Ply in Mexico. You're going to be uh, coming up on the new Thomas Rhett album. You have a track with Thomas called Half of Me, right? Yeah, man. Fun song. A song I was a fan of as soon as I heard it. So it was so cool that he asked me to be on it. I think it turned out great. Yeah, fun to be with TR anytime. He's such a cool guy and obviously so much success. Have you picked up any uh, tips from him or maybe him from you? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, you know, first times I really had a conversation with him, he reached out and wanted to go duck hunting. He'd never been, so I took him a couple of years ago. And uh, every once in a while now, I'll send me a video of him blowing a duck call. Man, what do you think? How's it sounding? You know, so he definitely kind of leans on me in the, the the duck world, but I guess that's kind of my, my thing. I, I kind of sing country music on the side and, and hunt for a living. It's funny you mention it. Uh, I happen to have my duck call right here, Riley, which TR did give me a little bit of a lesson. Apparently, I was blowing in the, the wrong end, which wrong is this end. end. Yeah. yeah, which is... And you, I was sucking the air, air in, which, <laughs> like that. You blow in this <laughs> end and you push out. <laughs> Pretty good, right? Yeah. I'm not sure that's not a kazoo. Hey! Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying at least. TR also told me that he's taken after you by tucking in his shirt and his jeans. You've created this look, dude. Ah, uh, man. I, I had a I had a ball coach when I was in school used to tell me, tuck your shirt in and look like somebody. <laughs> So uh, I, people give me a hard time. I tuck in my T-shirts in, but that's just, I don't know. It makes me feel like I, I can go in anywhere as long as my t shirts tucked in. Another uh, guy who's uh, there with you at Crash My Play is Dustin Lynch. You guys sing together on a tune called Hunt and Land. Did it hit you as being one of those, like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe how, like, 
smart this song is and how clever it is. Yeah, it's uh, it's got that fun, like, redneck yacht club kind of thing where it just hits all the right spots. And obviously, it's a great idea. It's very fitting for me and him both, so it was cool that he asked me to do it. We filmed a little video for it. I actually jumped on stage with him two nights ago and sang it with him for the first time. We've done it together. So, yeah, awesome song. It turned out great. I mean, it Day out hunting for you guys, I mean, makes for a great video. All right, hang with us. We have more to get to. I want to talk about your upcoming uh, spring break show straight ahead. Riley Green with us. <laughs> Crash my play in Mexico, Luke Bryan's big festival. Of course, Luke known for his giant spring break shows years ago. Now you're going to do kind of the same thing, do a little Riley Green spring break 2022 show in Orange Beach, Alabama. Emma. So uh, tell us uh, about this show. I grew up playing in Orange Beach. You know, there's a bar down there called the Floribama that I'm sure a lot of y'all are familiar with. And, uh, you know, it was just such a cool place for me to kind of spend my childhood and now getting to go back and play the Wharf. You know, we sold it out last year, which is unbelievable to me. And we're going to go do two nights. Uh, John Michael Montgomery and Travis Tritt are opening the show, which I still can't get over. Uh, but, man, it's just a great way to kind of go back and, you know, it's five hours from where I grew up, but it's still like a hometown show down there. And so many people watched me play starting my career. It's great to be able to go back and play a big show down there. A lot of people may have a favorite Riley Green song, but since you mentioned Travis Tritt and John Michael Montgomery, what's your your fave from both those guys? It's hard to narrow it down because they ha both have such a collection, but I, what would you say? Man, uh, literally... Those two guys, that Sammy Kershaw era, like, I mean, that's that's what I grew up listening to and still, I does, it doesn't get old to me. I did cover uh, We're Corn on Grow, which was a Waylon and Tritt redid. I, I covered that song and cut it last year, so I've just got so many favorites for them, and it's, uh, I, I'm excited to watch that show. Yeah, right, it's gonna be good. Again, in Arch Beach, uh, Alabama, coming up for spring break. Hey, Riley, have a good time in Mexico, man. We'll uh, see you again soon. Appreciate it, bud. Hey, thanks again. Uh, Riley Green right there. More from Crash My Playa coming up. Back to the countdown now. Back to Hot 20, Cody Allen this weekend, joined by Luke Bryan, the man of the hour from Crash My Playa. It is uh, Mexico set the scene for us here, Luke. Give us like a temperature check. What are we looking at out there? It's uh, 85 degrees, which I think it's 29 degrees Celsius, um, but not a cloud in the sky. We're down in Mexico, and um, hey, seventh year crash my playa, and we're making it happen, baby. I'm so disappointed we can't be there. So tell me, what, what set the atmosphere for this year after coming out of last year and not being able to do crash my playa in 2021? What's the mood? Well, even last night, uh, Dustin Lynch was headlining last night, and the crowd was just fired up. And, you know, everybody, everybody's just excited to be back at Crash by Playa and to be together, you know, loving music, having fun. And um, I mean, last night was back to the old shenanigans of Crash by Playa. We are so sad that, um, that you're not here because you have been a true staple. And I'm very frustrated you couldn't make it. Well, listen, uh, what's one advantage to me not being there? Can you name something that is good about me not being on the scene? Um, you know what? We, you know, selfies with your shirt off. We know none of those um, all over your Instagram, Cody. We know we know you've been working out, and, you know, I have not. So the fact that I can't, you know, there's truly no documentation of how much more in shape you are than me. I don't have to, you know, stare at that all week, but uh, I'm going to – I'm gonna miss our volleyball game, you know, yeah. where your thumb lands, you know, all your, all your corny little games. Hang on, Cody. though, we do have the volleyball game. I'm told it is back, so hang on, the volleyball game is coming up. Uh, you, I don't want to disappoint you by eliminating that. I will say, I, I feel like bringing Dustin Lynch back and putting him on the main stage as a headliner is a bit of a liability. Am I right? Well, anything with Dustin Lynch is a liability, but, you know, it was a pretty surreal moment. I mean, he's been coming down here for years, and for him to finally headline his, yeah. headline his first night, I mean, he had a great time, and I was really proud of him and had fun watching him up there. Good stuff. All right, hang with this. More with Luke Bryan from Mexico coming up. Back to the countdown now. is back with you from Crash My Ply. We're taking you to Mexico. Caitlin Smith now joins us from Mexico. And by the way, she is a Minnesota girl. I checked the temp in Minnesota right now. It is 12 below. 12 below in Minnesota. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. The high we tomorrow left. is one. <laughs> 
Well, it, we, we left from Minnesota, and it was no degrees when we left, and uh, this is way better. <laughs> uh, let's talk about your 2021, which has been amazing. Uh, first off, you opened up for George Strait. What? <laughs> it that was insane. Right. I mean, the king. What a blessing. I was so grateful to do those shows with George, and he is an absolute angel. Uh, I'm like... A huge fan and so like every single time we would open I would watch the whole show and just weep like a baby <laughs> <laughs> I know you just like stand on stage and smile and everyone just goes crazy it's unreal <laughs> yeah little big town as well that must have been no fun oh my goodness yeah like there are no nicer people than those four humans uh, on planet earth I'm pretty sure and they're just so much fun it was the best <laughs> Everybody is hearing and loving your song, I Can't, with Old Dominion. How did that collaboration come together? Man, I am so grateful those guys agreed to hop on this song. It's a big thanks to my label head, Shane McAnally. He also produces their records. And so we were going in and going to do a collaboration. We were talking about it. And he threw out the Old Dominion idea, and I kind of laughed. I was like, sure, like, you could ask them. They've never done a collaboration before I was like that's not gonna happen and so I'm just was so so grateful he played him the song they all fell in love with it and um, we booked a day in the studio and made it happen so it was so fun because of that they invited me out on the road last year as well and that is also a fun group of guys so I mean it's gonna be really hard to beat last year as far as like like how much fun we had on the road for sure. It looks like your 2022 is off to a good start there from Crash My Playa. Although, yeah, great point, <laughs> great point. <laughs> right, we have more with Caitlin Smith coming up. Her song is called I Can't. We get back to the countdown now. Back to the beach with Caitlin Smith getting ready to be the uh, theme song singer for the new show Monarch coming up later on this year. It's all about a country music family. It stars Trace Atkins. Like I said, you do the theme song. How did you land that as a new artist? Ah, this is so cool. Um, and Susan Sarandon is in it as well. And um, I've seen a couple of the previews. It's going to be incredible. But this is all linked in with my label. They're doing the soundtrack. And so they're like, well, let's get our girl to try it out. So I sang a version, and um, and Fox fell in love with it. So I am so grateful. It's super cool. We shot a music video on the actual location that they film. Wow. It's called The Bramble. It's this huge mansion. And we actually also just filmed... And um, I did a little cameo in episode oh. four, so you might see yours truly <laughs> in the new season of Monarch, which is pretty exciting. That's awesome. <laughs> so did you meet Trace in any of this? I didn't get to meet Trace okay. yet. All he right. wasn't in my scene, but I hope to soon. I Hopefully on the day you meet him, he's not like in a grumpy mood. He can be a little, let's be honest, he can be a little <laughs> grumpy sometimes. Everybody knows this. It's not like a... Everybody can be a little grumpy sometimes, <laughs> though. It's okay. <laughs> um, finally, I want to mention uh, your year. What other uh, new music can you tell us uh, uh, coming in 2022? Man, I am so excited about this year. I've spent the last year in the studio, and I am self-producing my new album, which is really, really exciting. And so 2022 is going to be a lot of new music. I've got a new song called Hi, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Um, but also just stay tuned, because I've got stuff coming out, yeah. like I said, all this year leading up to a new record. Man, I love what you do. I think you've got such great energy, and you're so freaking talented. Thank you, Caitlin Smith, for hanging with us. Have a great time in Mexico. Ah, thank you so much. <laughs> I really can't complain. I'm going to go drink some more tequila. There you go. <laughs> with us this weekend from Crash My Play in Mexico. Recently, uh, Luke, you were on vocal rest. You want to explain why? Yeah, I was in Indianapolis to watch the Georgia Bulldogs uh, defeat the Alabama Crimson Tide, and I completely just, even in the first half, you know, it was a pretty, it was just a highly contested game, and, yeah. you know, uh, me yelling, you know, I feel like me yelling for four hours straight Helped the team win, and that's how I blew my voice out. <laughs> Did you celebrate with any of your uh, other Georgia Bulldog fans? I'm thinking about Jason Aldean or Kane Brown. You call anybody? Well, we all called, and, and Jason was going to try to make the game, but he was he was uh, launching his new single, so he couldn't make he couldn't go to the game. But uh, you know, me and my buddy Dallas Davidson, who I've written a lot of songs with, 
Dallas was there, and we got to spray champagne on each other. And I got to go, um, I got to go see Coach Kirby Smart uh, back at his hotel, kind of like a like a coach's after party. I got to shake all the coaches' hands and high five some of the players. It was a, and literally, you know, I mean, it went till four in the morning, so it was it was a long night, but it was it was one of the most fun nights I've ever had in my life. Did Caroline enjoy having you on vocal rest? Was that something she kind of en enjoyed that that few weeks? Well, vocal rest with me is like instead of talking on my phone nine hours a day, I talk eight hours a day. So. <laughs> But uh, yeah, anytime I'm anytime I'm due to shut up, anybody in my world's probably pretty happy about it. <laughs> All right, we want to get you to continue to talk. I'm glad the vocals are back for Crash My Playa, and congrats to the dogs. Back to the countdown now. Go dogs! <laughs> Mayor of Playa joining us now, Dustin. Hot twenty, back again from Crash My Playa in Mexico with the Mayor of Playa. Joining us now, Dustin Lynch is here. How you doing? I'm doing wonderful, man. The sun is out. Can you tell I've got a tan yet? Because I've been working on it. I love the waves crashing there in the background. What are we, like 10 to 15 knots out there today, Dustin? Yeah, it kind of, it, it started a little bit rough this morning, but as Mexico does, as the day goes on, life gets smoother, you know? Well, every morning for you kind of starts a little rough with the hangover, as I recall, if I could be so bold. Uh, in Mexico, lots of hangovers. Um, so how are you feeling right now, seriously? <laughs> I'm feeling good. I, I think experience, you know, has is, is, is bid me well. So I, I know when to full send it down here and when to get my rest, right? So last night was a rest night. So I'm bright-eyed and ready to rip it up again tonight. You're doing a couple of really cool things down at Crash My Playa. Not only uh, the pool party, which you've become legendary for. By the way, how'd that go? Oh, it is awesome. We, we kind of, as a band, have taken a bit of a thematic approach. So uh, we, we came down with costumes this year. We're all going to be matching and, and walk in w with the vibe. And we started a new, new tradition this year, too, where um, uh, let's call it just, we'll call it a walking parade. Kind of precedes our, uh, our getting on stage. So I'm hoping we can grow that. You know, obviously the pool party's grown to be this crazy circus of an event, but I'm, I'm hoping this parade thing catches on, too, after this year. And well-deserved. You're also headlining the uh, big stage for everybody there at Crash by Play. So how, how does the pool party... Uh, different from headlining on the stage. Two different approaches, right? Yeah, the main stage is professional, as well as professional as we can as we can make it down here. You never know what's going to run out on stage down at Crash My Playa. You know, um, we know Luke's going to show up and try to mess us up at some point. So uh, you just kind of roll with the punches. But the pool party is there's no rules, um, and and there's not a whole lot of my music. Usually, we usually just play what we want to play. So um, very eclectic set list of, of songs people shout out to us from the pool or that we kind of want to play ourselves and bring that from Nashville. I see a little blue in the background there, a little blue in the sky, which is also the name of the new album. We'll talk about that with Dustin Lynch coming up back to the countdown now. Dustin Lynch back with us this weekend from Crash My Playa in Mexico. Dustin with a brand new album on the way called Blue in the Sky. For a few days on social media, you were teasing all of us, Dustin. Everybody was like, what's going on? What's he doing? That, that picture of, of the album cover for Blue in the Sky is special to me because we shot all of the visuals for this album out at my farm in Tennessee. So it was really cool to kind of, you know, have that for the rest of my life to look back on and know that, um, you know, that album cover is, is from one of my pastures at my farm. And um, yeah, it's, it's kind of, we didn't really time the album announce and the visual and calling the album Blue in the Sky for us to be in Mexico. But hey, we got lucky, I guess. Here we are. It's funny because some of the song titles actually match what you're doing there in Mexico. We got a party mode, a summer never ends, some rocking tunes on this uh, album, it looks like. Yeah, it's a very... Uh... It's an optimistic feeling album, and that's that's why I wanted to go with Blue in the Sky. I think every day we've, you know, all of us get to wake up and and choose how we want to look at life and the world around us. And um, to me, Blue in the Sky is just choosing that glass half full and an optimistic outlook on on life and um, the journey of life and learning about yourself. And uh, so that's that's really what encapsulates, I think, um, where I'm at in life right now. And and so. That's what, that's what I decided to name it. And you're going into all this with great mojo. Six weeks at number one for Thinking About You with Mackenzie Porter. And two weeks, actually, the video was number one here on Hot 20 Countdown. Uh, by the way, uh, speaking of the video, I want to know, where did you find a payphone? Those are like fossils, aren't they? 
<laughs> yes, yeah, that's a great question. We had a time trying to find that. We actually, you know, luckily, there's a lot of talented people in Nashville, and, and someone had one in a warehouse that, uh, you know, one of our team members was scouring everywhere around, and they were, they were looking and looking and looking, and finally we landed a phone booth, and, um, you know, the first scene we actually shot was Mackenzie in that phone booth in the video. So I, I don't know what I was thinking, letting her act first. Cause I had to sit, sit behind the camera and watch her do her thing. And she's just an incredible actress on top of being an unbelievable songwriter and singer. So I was like, gosh, how am I going to follow this? But, um, she made it easy, you know, and we had a lot of fun shooting that. Thank you guys for supporting it and, and taking it all the way to number one for us. All right. Hang with us more DL coming up here on hot 20. Now back to the countdown. Justin Lynch, he is in Mexico. We are not. I'd be jealous too. We are a little jealous you're there, uh, Dustin. I mean, come on. I, dude, you, we're missing you down here. You're, I mean, you've been here as much as I have, and I've been here every year. I wanted to mention it is the 10th anniversary, Dustin, of your hit Cowboys and Angels. Your first song sort of changed your career. Oh my gosh. You just never know when you put a song out what it's going to do. And, and Cowboys and Angels blew me away. That, you know, obviously my first lap around the country, that song got me to, the Rocky Mountains for the first time, literally. I mean, it, it took me all over the, the country and the world, literally. And uh, what, a, what a great ride it's been. It feels like it's been one year, not 10. By the way, before we let you go, I've been trying to read your hat the whole time. What does your hat say? Um, it's terrible. I forget what I'm wearing. Hold on. Oh, uh, it says good stuff. It's got a little, yeah, I think it's got a palm tree on it. It's a, uh, it's a diner out on the West Coast, so... I picked up one of these trucker hats, and it's it's my good luck charm down All here. Right, I love it. Dustin Lynch, always bring in the good stuff. Have a great time at Crash My Playa, Dustin. We will see you next year. Fingers crossed we will be there in person. So look forward to it. Uh, thanks again, man. And we're back on Hot 20 this weekend. Feeling a little FOMO, fear of missing out, but Jordan Davis is there on the scene to bring us up today at Crash My Playa, the great bearded one. How are you? I'm doing great, buddy. I'm uh, I'm drinking in beach for you and me, so don't worry. I've got you, I've got you under control over here, okay, buddy? <laughs> I love it. Uh, it is not your first Crash My Playa because I do recall us doing a really intense diaper changing contest. Yes, yes, we did, and uh, you actually beat me uh, handily. Actually, it was pretty, and which is embarrassing too, because I was like in the throes of. <laughs> Of a diaper, and you you were out of the game for a little while, and I I was in the throes of it, and you whooped me up pretty good. I feel like I might have had uh, more cumulative reps by then than you had had. But now, you know, with Eloise and Lachlan at home, you're getting a ton of practice, had a ton of practice, right? Yeah, a whole lot. I feel like if you were here and we were to do this, I like my chances now. <laughs> <laughs> so is your wife there, Kristen, at the, apply with you? No, nah, I wish she could have came down, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm like, we... It happened so quick, uh, us kind of filling in. Uh, but uh, she's she's very upset that she's not here. So she's. I told. I texted her today, and uh, I think it was 85 and sunny, and I think it was like 20 degrees in Nashville. So uh, I got the better end of that, did. Thanks for bringing all this up again. Really making us feel so much better. <laughs> yeah. here. Uh, I plan on saying it at least a couple <laughs> more times throughout this. So. <laughs> when you get back to Nashville, you're gonna take Kristen out for like a date night or something to make up for this loss. Oh yeah, hundred probably probably a couple. I'm <laughs> I'm I'm gonna be in the doghouse. Have y'all figured out with two little ones at home how to actually accomplish a date night? I mean, do you have to? Is it a lot of pre-planning, right? Yeah, especially like you know now that touring's picking back up. Uh, you know, a lot of it's like Sunday nights, kind of our night where we get the kids down, have a sitter come over, and uh, you know we take off and try to try some new restaurant or sometimes just go get a hamburger and just kind of sit by ourselves. Uh, you know, just to kind of relax and um but yeah sundays are our date nights and, and it definitely takes a little more planning with two than yeah. it used to sunday nights that's a, that's a good idea all right he's with us from crash my playa we will talk about your number one song by dirt in just a second of course with uh, luke bryan but let's talk about good beer good beer is a cold beer as i understand it right it's a cold beer, baby. A good beer is a cold one. And, uh, man, I love those guys to death. I was so honored to, to sing on that with Seaforth. Uh, man, I think those are two of the most talented guys in Nashville. And, uh, and I, I just, I just love that song. Fell in love with it the first time I heard it. And you can't not have a good time with those guys. You know, like, it is impossible to not laugh, have a good time with them. Uh, yeah. So making that video was awesome. It was a lot of fun. And I'm really excited to see what that song does. Man. 
And I, the song is so good. It, I mean, it really does have a fantastic like groove to it. And you, in one listen, and you love it. Um, the video is well though. Y you guys really did have a great time. Let's talk about that golf attire. Who did the, like the costuming for this whole scene? So that was all Mitch's, Mitch and Tom's idea. They were like, hey, man, let's, like, try to basically remake Caddyshack. Uh, so, I, and I was all in. It was at uh, Shelby Golf Course in Nashville, so I was like, yeah, it's, like, right down the street from my house. Uh, so we, it, we were truly out there. It was raining. It was actually a miserable day. It would have been a terrible day to golf. But, uh, but you know, we made it work, and that sweater that I had on was goodness gracious. It made for a great video, though. So if a good beer is a cold one, it doesn't sound like you're very picky, Jordan. Is there something you won't drink or take a shot of, or what is that? Uh, no, any cold beer I'm going to drink. Uh, I've, I live by that motto, a good beer is a cold one. Uh, down here, I've had a lot of Tulane, mm. uh, but there is one shot that was an absolute disaster and it was 151 have you ever shot that before uh no it, it it tastes like gasoline and i was on stage doing it and i thought it was just like a regular shot and i somebody gave it to me i took the shot and i it almost got real bad i <laughs> literally had to walk off stage relieve <laughs> The shot I just took, and then come on and finish the show. So 151, yeah. I will never shoot again. Wait, it's you, terrible. You relieved it by, is that peeing or was no, that water? I, no, I threw up everywhere. Okay. I threw up everywhere. All right. 100%. These are we the crash by so details we don't need, Jordan. All right, hang with I this. I know. I know. I'm sorry. More I don't to know go. why I said that. Back at the countdown now. Crash My Playa guest from Mexico, Jordan Davis, celebrating your number one song by Dirt. Man. Fourth number one, by the way, with uh, yeah. your buddy Luke Bryan, of course. Uh, congrats. Thank you, buddy. Man, that never gets old, man, especially with a song like By Dirt. Uh, to be on it with Luke, uh, you know, and for it to hit number one right here at Crash My Playa, have him down here. I guess him have me, considering it's his festival. Anyway, uh, you know, like, it is. That song is just super special to me. Uh, my second number one with my brother as a songwriter, and then my first one with Matt and Josh Jenkins together, uh, which are two of my best friends in town. So uh, this one, you know, they're all special, uh, but this one just means a little bit more, uh, you know, just because of the circumstances around it. But, yeah, man, I, I, I'm super excited. Thank well, you. Well, I know Luke Bryan really appreciates you helping out his career further it along. I mean, he really could use a boost. I mean, yeah. Like, you know, I figured, like, you know, we're coming out of the pandemic. Luke was probably pretty tight on some bills. So I figured help him out, you know, give this young up-and-comer a chance to uh, to broaden his fan base. And that's exactly what I did. So you're welcome, Luke. In all seriousness, <laughs> uh, you did perform the song at a couple's wedding, right? So tell us the story of how that happened. Yeah, so we were in New York. Uh, I we got to go do Jimmy Fallon, which was amazing. Uh, and then a friend of mine knew of a couple that was getting married in New Jersey. And she told me, she was like, hey, their first dance is by dirt. And they have a DJ. They were just going to play it. Would you want to drive over there? It's only 30 minutes away. Would you want to go play it live? And so we wrapped up Jimmy Fallon, raced out, raced over to New Jersey, uh, surprised them for the first dance. And I, I remember how special that was for me. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. You know, it's such a, just a special moment at your wedding. So them letting me do that, surprise them, it was pretty fun. Jordan Davis right here in the video, up next on The Countdown. Have fun in the playa. Take care, man. Love you, buddy. Thank you, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Back to The Countdown now. Brian is with us from Mexico. It's Crash My Playa. Up is the new song, uh, Luke, that's out right now, and brand new video as well. And in fact, you said you're most proud of this song and video. Tell us why. Well, I was able to get both of my, my I was able to get Caroline's dad and my dad in the video and, and Bo and Tate to be in the video. And then to pull back, you know, some of the footage, uh, obviously, when we did our IMDb TV special, we had a lot of archival footage that we brought and we were able to use in this video. And then, like, you know, seeing Caroline with Bo when, when Bo was, you know, my third, he was 13. Yeah. And, you know, to use some of that footage and see my brother in the video and see my sister in the video and even her husband, Lee, was in the video. So cool. just a real heartfelt message. And I love what the song says. And so many, uh, so many people in small town life, you know, live live with a lot of those uh, live with a lot of that sen those sentiments and looking back. And I just think it was I was glad to see the video come out, and it was certainly well done by 
by my, by my buddy Sean Silva. And looking back at all that footage, I understand when you were making the video, it was really the first time you had seen it kind of in full all in three minutes, right? Yeah, well, they had put the footage together and some of the first initial reactions were my true reaction. So it was really pretty to watch. And, and um, you know, I, I think... Like I said, I think the fans at home can certainly get caught up in the emotion of it, too. I may be the biggest Luke Bryan fan in the world already, but when I saw Dirt Road Diaries, it just enhanced my appreciation for who you are and what you're all about. I love me some Luke Bryan. I wish I was there. Uh, more Luke. We miss you. We miss you. Yes. Next year, right? Please. Uh, back to Cody. countdown now. Yeah. Will you? You can't spell crash my plyo without you. It's just not the same without you, baby. <laughs> not the same with us. All right. Hang on. We've got more with Luke coming up. Back to the countdown now. We're back with uh, Luke Bryan this weekend. Crash my plyo happening in Mexico. We are not there. Uh, we're in Nashville. Uh, we put up some of our uh, best uh, Mexican decorations here. I hope, uh, yeah, we're just doing our best to kind of bring a little bit of the spirit, Luke, here to the show. Yeah, I mean, you're trying to have a Mexican theme in a small cubicle in Nashville. Good job. Good job. <laughs> uh, you're about to head to Vegas. You're going to uh, be now, not only the king of Mexico, but also the king of Vegas here real soon with your uh, residency there in February. So uh, what will be different about those shows? What can fans expect? Well, with Vegas, I mean, uh, to be in a big theater with, with one of the most state-of-the-art, it's a brand-new theater at Resorts World. And so we'll have some of the most state-of-the-art um, sound and lighting equipment, and uh, it'll be Vegas. It'll be a party. I mean, I'm not going to sit there and, and bore people with a bunch of, you know, slow, sad songs. This thing's going to be energetic, come out, you know, knock people's, you know, get people dancing, knock them out, and let them go back and, and gamble all their life savings away. <laughs> I was I was wondering if you might be found at the blackjack table on, on a few of those nights. Yeah, I'm already working on some hypno hypnotic therapy <laughs> to keep me away from uh, whatever, whatever money I make in Vegas. I'm probably going to lose it on the tables. But, yeah, I will be frequenting. Uh, hopefully I'll, it'll... Hopefully, I'll be in such close proximity of gambling, then, like, the the addictiveness and the allure of it will, will mm. kind of go away. There you go. Well, it originally started at six nights there at Resorts World. They've now upped that to even more shows. Some fans driving by there. Like I that said. That was Jason Aldean. That was literally Jason Aldean driving by. Was it really? <laughs> yeah, they were crashing my, <laughs> crashing my interview with you, Cody. <laughs> Uh, Luke, thank you for being here. Now, this is week one of our Crash My Playa coverage. We're back with Luke Bryan next week here on the show. Uh, and so we're on to our number one video this weekend. It's Kenny Chesney knowing you right here.